Okay, today we are going to do Jagged Axe and maybe something else. We'll just see how my shoulder does after that spill yesterday. Um, I'm going to ride the coating today because uh, those brakes on my Mega were scaring me coming down Chili Dog when they kept cutting out. Um, I haven't really set up this bike. I still got my narrow bars on it, but we're just going to ride it anyway. I also don't have the gearing for it. I was going to use this for the bike park. Um, but, you know, you just do what you do. At least I know these BB7 mechanicals won't fail me. I'm glad I brought a second bike. Otherwise, I'd probably be spending all day re-bleeding and all that. And I didn't bring any brake fluid with me, it appears. Okay, so I'm at the top of Jagged Axe. Um... It depends on what you call the top. Um, there's uh, conflicting information as to where it actually starts. Um, there's uh, MTB shows it starting a good ways back, uh, and there's actually climbing. Uh, that's single track. Um, trail forks basically shows it starting at the beginning of the first or the the last climb, the final descent. Uh, where we are now is actually the first uh, descent, or the first decent descent. And um, I think there's two short climbs, then we'll get to the part, the top of where Trail Fork shows the start. Um, so at, uh, at the recommendation of someone at the bottom, I actually hiked up Jagged Axe uh, since there's no, um, there's no one out today. Uh, it's, it's Wednesday, so uh, they're going to take advantage and, and you kind of see what it looks like coming up. Um, kind of get a little bit of a preview. Of course, it always looks different when you go back the other way, so we'll see what happens. Um, my, Especially after my spill I took yesterday and my bad shoulder, I actually landed on my bad shoulder, and so I'm a little concerned about that, and uh, among my other circumstances. Um, so as a result, um, there are a couple of uh, features that I'm going to skip. Uh, that I'm actually going to do the bypass on. Uh, I think there's two. Um, and there are a couple that I'm kind of on the fence. We'll see how it goes going down um, as to whether or not I'm going to huck them or if I'm just going to roll a um, few line choices. I don't know. I mean, I may not even see. A lot of times I think that when I do this sort of thing and then I go down and I don't even see any of it. I went down to Chili Dog yesterday. I'm on the coating because my brakes were, um, my back brake was cutting out on me. Uh, going down Chili Dog, which was pretty unnerving. If you, if you watch that video, you'll see me pumping the brakes really fast. Uh, we don't want to do that on this one because there's some steep sections and I need to focus on my lines and, uh, and not trying to keep the, the brakes uh, pumped up. So, and it doesn't seem to be air because some at one point it'll be nice and snappy and then the next point it's nothing. Um, the coating has good old BB7 mechanicals. They never fail me. You'll get to see that uh, we're going to be on probably one of the steepest overall trails I've ridden, and they're going to be fine. The uh, The main difference between Chili Dog and this, uh, it looks like this is going to have maybe a few steeper sections. Uh, Chili Dog was just more rough and tumble going down all the way, the whole way, and it was fun. Um, but um, this looks like it's going to have a, a few more features. Um, so we'll just have to kind of see how that goes. Um, Again, I think on this rundown, I'm probably just going to chill out, uh, just enjoy the descent, and then uh, maybe next time we come through when I have somebody with me and my shoulders recovered and everything, all my tendonitis and all that stuff. Probably still won't have health insurance, but you know how that goes. I haven't in years. <laughs> all right. Jagged Axe. I apologize in advance for the noise that my brake pads are going to make. They need a good, uh, the rotors and pads need a good cleaning and everything, but I didn't expect to be riding this bike this soon in the trip. So here we go. I think there's a little bit of a downhill for a while, and then I know we've got at least one good climb uh, that's not even really worth climbing. It's, it's a hike. Um, and then after that, it's all downhill from there. It's kind of hard 
to see where the trail is. <clears throat> okay. I'm not even gonna bother. All right, this is where Trio Forks shows the start. Nice view up here. stuff for a flatlander <sighs> lights are already shot let's do it Enduro blue. Yeah, All right. I'm very quick. Have a good ride. All right, y'all. See how y'all have a good one. That was unexpected. I'm a little worried now. There's no other hikers. You can even see some of those rocks for the sun and the shadows. King bumps there.
one that I should have went over, but just didn't see it coming in time. I can feel my gimbal bouncing around on my chest. That was a good little double jump back there. Oh my legs. Can't even hardly manual. Might have to give my legs a breather here in a minute. Whew. Whew. Sit. Whew. Don't think that was the intended line, but it worked. one that we're walking for riding the bypass. Ah, so this is Jagged Axe. That was where I went down yesterday. Oh, and I missed the trail like I did yesterday. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to skip it. Feet are hurting too. Oh, wait, this is oh, that's cool. I should have done that. quite enough pop off the top but still worked.
much air in these tires. My tire gauge quit working, so I aired on the side of caution and went up. I got the job done, though. Smells good down here. Must be those flowers. You already done? Yeah. Do what? No. no <laughs> Tell you what, that was a uh, fun yeah. ride down though. Was it? Yeah. It was a good flow. Yeah. Really? That's kind of how I felt with uh, Chili Dog. But. Uh, Jagged Axe, I mean it was also short, depends on where you were to start from.